strategy on shift day is utilizing the entire belt system. You're just utilizing the strategy from a different elemental attitude as you go. Okay, we're not really going to talk about the elemental attitudes so much. We're going to talk about the work strategy. Um, come on, Max, for long Max is a uh, guy who trained me weekly. This back is here, right? Um, okay, one of the first things that we teach at here. if you ever watched Doc when he did his defenses, he always made it look like, oh, you're watching me? You know, but it always looks like that. True martial arts, high level martial arts, should not look like martial arts. There are legal ramifications to looking like this. That's how you get your in jail. If your ultimate goal is to make everything look accidental, and that's what we're aiming for here. So our strategies let us do that. Okay. The first strategy we have is uh, what I like to refer to as the, the, the guard, or the universal guard. It's a simple concept of a triangulation of the arms and a way that you want to be keeping your arms. You know, Real quick, if you, if you, if you hold your arm, hold your arm out straight as it can, stretch it all the way out, and take your other hand and slide past your elbow. All the way from wrist to the shoulder. Okay, look how smooth and nice and straight that is. Bend your arm just a little bit. Now you've got a weapon that just popped out. Okay, keeping a straight arm would be smarter, right? And I just took this away from myself. So adding a little bit of the arm. These are little subtle secrets there to make this stuff more effective. With the hands, it's almost like you can imagine if you put your fingers together like this, like hold a little ball here at about chest height. You move that down, you move that here, okay, and you get you can twist with the ball. You really don't want to go any farther than that in a real fight. So you want to train this. You know, don't go. Much farther than that. Again, don't turn it straight, just lost weapons. Okay. This you have weapons, all right? This same shape, this triangulation I've been with the arms, allows for deflecting, allows for keeping myself safe. You know, again, our normal fear reaction is, whoa! You know, the aliens come up, they try to cover the face, this is where all your sense organs are, your body knows, and protect them out in the brain first. Okay, so you'll do this. What we're doing is we're going to replace that in some smarter. We're going to do more of this. Uh, an example of this, mass smudging. I don't know what's happening. Well, the hands just come up. Elbows bent here. Okay? If my arm is straight, my slide in, grab me, or, or if, you know, it'll get a little closer. If I bend that elbow just a little, I can't really come in and get Okay? It doesn't matter what direction this is happening from. He's coming, here he comes, he's watching me. Wow. The arms went up, did the same thing. Okay. He's right there. So let's let's just all try to work on this simple setting up this guard. I have to move a different direction. I mean this way. Whoa. I'm, I'm you know, still trapping him. I mean, there's still options here. But I didn't have to think about a specific point. In a real fight, you're not going to think about footwork. Okay, this is preparing me for real combat skills. Okay, so just using this card, I can get my hand here, you can actually practice this with the finger here, max punching. I can leave my hands in this, and see how that punch is just being reflected, the same thing. And I'll see if it's done. Okay, move that side. This keeps you safe. Alright, if you were to punch me, okay, now you're going to hit me. This keeps you safe. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you walk through a moment. So you're trying to wear this. And this is smart upper body dynamics. You want to program this into your repertoire. You start off with doing this fairly slow. And you know, you're going to punch right there. And the best thing to do is hands in the face. Okay? For real. For today, uh, loose fists for guys that have got a little skill. Palms towards the face for the beginners. So your beginners are going to look a little like this. Okay? I've got decent points of contact here, right? 